on Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds if you're new here. Welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I thank you for tuning in. I can't do what I do without you. I want to keep it short and sweet here today. All the social media links are down below. The website's down below. Full recap is on the website at the bottom of the page. Thing that I'm doing on this channel, okay? So let's get into it. It's getting late. Want to try to make sure I got something out to you guys, all right? 7:30 matchup, Coastal Carolina going up against Georgia State, and boy, have we seen that line move. Opened up at ten and a half, all the way down to five now. Coastal Carolina is the favorite. the The road team has covered all five of the last five matchups here. Um, with these two teams last year, Coastal Carolina took care of business in Georgia State, um, and Grace McCall returns back. He's the of this Sun Belt Conference. He's going up against Granger, who really struggled last year. Georgia State team, who's very turnover opportunistic. 3-0 and so far on the year. 3-0 and ATS. Um, and they're looking to, to, to continue the trend of the road team winning here. But I'm not so sure that's going to happen. I know a lot of steam is on Georgia State. A lot of folks are on Georgia State, their ability to turn the football over. Um, both these defenses are really susceptible to the big play. I think Coastal Carolina forces them to throw the ball. The pass defense is much better than their run defense. Stack the box. Make Granger prove that he can throw the ball. Georgia State still would rather run it than throw it. And I believe that Coastal Carolina is going to force them to throw the ball. And we get Granger to make some mistakes here in this matchup. Also, something to pay attention to, we have Georgia State wide receiver who's transferred to Coastal Carolina, something to take into account as well. Um, but Grayson McCall um, has answered the bell here every sense of the of the way. People are starting to forget now that this is a Coastal Carolina team that went into UCLA and gave them everything that they had to offer. This game was a one-point game going into the fourth quarter. Um, Coastal Carolina was right there and had an opportunity to try to win that game late before UCLA ended up pulling off there in the fourth quarter late in that game. Now, with Georgia State, they now have seven turnovers. The turnover battle is 7-1 to one for them, so the turnover di differential has really been the X factor in this game. Rhode Island was a one-score affair there in that game, 13-20 of 20 on third down for Rhode Island, 520 yards of offense. This defense is not good. I think Coastal Carolina defense is still a step above Georgia State, um, and I believe they're going to get the job done here tonight in tremendous fashion. Give me Coastal Carolina. Lay the five points. It's the official free pick of the day. Let me know if you agree, disagree, whatever the case may be, but for now, double D. Derek Times, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. Best of luck if you decide to tell. But either way, hope that you guys have a tremendous Thursday. Good luck.